In this video, we're going to discuss lists in Python. So a container is a group of related objects with references to each object rather than directly to the data. One of the most common container types is called a list, which is similar to a grocery shopping list. And each item in the list is an element, and each element in the list is numbered starting at zero. So if you had five items in your list, they'd be numbered from zero to four. You can access any element in the list by referencing the index number in square brackets. Lists can hold objects of any type and they're useful for reducing the number of variables you need in your program. For example, if you wanted to store all the temperatures for every day of the week, instead of having seven separate variables, such as temp1, temp2, temp3, all the way up to seven, you can just have a list called temps or temperatures and access each day of the week by an index from zero to seven. And if you had an array of temperatures for the whole year, you don't wanna to have to create 365 temp variables. You could just create one list object that has indexes from zero to 364. Lists are mutable, which means that functions that operate on a list can actually change the value within your list. Some of the list methods or functions available are append, pop, and remove. The append method adds new elements to a list. Other useful methods are pop, which removes an element at a specified index within your list, and the remove method, which removes an element with the first matching values. Other useful list operations are shown on the table on the right. There's len to get the length of the list, which is the number of items in your list. You can use the plus sign to concatenate two lists together to have an even bigger list. You can use list.index passing in a value to find the first index of a matching value. List.count parentheses value to count the total occurrences of a specific value. And then there's max to find the largest value in a list, min to find the smallest value in a list, and sum which gets the sum of all the elements in your list. Assuming the list is of numeric data type. All right, let's try out some lists in Python. All right, let's create a grocery list groceries assign that to so we just type square brackets and start typing in our groceries chicken beer cereal and milk and let's get some fruit in there and bananas all right simple as that we can print out our list by saying print groceries let's run that program Here's our list printing out. To print out a specific item in the list, we could say print groceries at index zero, should give you the first item in the list, chicken. And if we change it to a one, it should give you beer and, and so on. Two cereal. And if we said, if we printed out the length of the list, we could call the length method. Pass in groceries. Should tell you how many items are in the list. Five. We could even add some text there. List has length of groceries, comma, items. There we go. It's a little bit easier to read. We can create another list called, let's just call it other list and assign that to other things we could buy at the store. Let's say shampoo, conditioner, deodorant. All right, and then we could say, create a new list called big list and assign that to groceries plus other list. Now we got a big list of items. Let's see how big that list is. Let's print out the length of big list so that has eight items and then let's also try out to print one thing from the list big list at index zero should give you the first item in that big list just chicken and it looks like it just adds the second list directly to the end let's verify that by printing out the entire list yep there it is and you know what let's add a duplicate item in the list let's say Got cereal twice on there. So let's first run it. And we'll see that cereal is in there twice in this big list. And let's remove it by saying 
big list dot remove serial. And we'll print the big list again. And now the one of the occurrences of serial, the first one is gone. Then we could try a big list dot pop. See what that does and print out the big list again. That takes out the last item in the list. So now deodorant is gone. So it used to be in the list before, now it's gone. And we can also say big list dot. And actually, after you type the dot, you can see that there's a lot of a lot of methods available. There's remove, pop, sort, copy, count, append, and feel free to try these all out. And they all do, you know, pretty cool things and different things. There's one called reverse, which will probably reverse all the elements in their list. Let's just try that out. Let's print it out. So after reversing it, all the items are in reverse order. You see that? Right, let's let's add something to the list. Oops. Big list dot append. Add apples. Then print the list out. And there it is. It adds apples to the end of the list. Let's just try a couple other things. Let's start over. Let's create another list called temps for the temperatures of the week. Like we mentioned earlier. And let's just say the temps are 68, 69, 72, 73, 68 again, 56, 102, and 88. Is that seven of them? Yep, all right. Check this out. We could, first let's print it out. Let's print temp, which is gonna be our array of temperatures. And let's figure out which one is the, the max. Let's print the max, max of temp. Should give us 102. Change that to min. Min of temp is 56. And for whatever reason, if you needed the sum, the sum of temp is 524. I think one other thing I forgot to mention is the count. It's the count operation. Let's try that. Let's print temp.count. And we have 68 in there twice, so let's enter 68. That should probably return two. Yep, two, because there's two of them. So I think that's all I wanted to show you guys for list. Thanks for watching.